All right, so you've just had your boat detailed either from myself or another detailing company and you want to learn how to properly maintain your own boat. Well, in this video, I'm going to go over my four step process on how to properly maintain your boat to keep it looking good. Let's go. What's up guys, I am editing this video and before we hop in what to do, let's go over a few things to absolutely do not do if you just had your boat detailed in wax, okay? These are gonna be the probably four, five, 10 things that are gonna absolutely destroy your boat and that is going to be washing your boat with bleach or like Dawn dishwashing soap or heavy degreaser. So bleaches like Tylex, Comet, Soft Scrub, Clorox, bleach-like products, they will 100% rip off your wax and all the hard work that I just did or another detailer or yourself may have just done is gonna be completely erased. So no bleach products. Also, no Dawn dishwashing soaps, no Joy, no Ajax, detergent style cleaners because those are degreased cleaners and they will 100% rip off your wax. Also, do not use Simple Green, do not use Spray 9, do not use Salt away do not use um, any of these other simple green degreaser type cleaners because likewise they are going to rip off your wax i typically recommend you wax your boat every four to six months at the most you have owned your boat for years and you're getting it detailed once every year or so you really need to think about having your boat detailed and wax every four to six months if you have your boat detailed and then you go wash it with dawn or bleach or something like that well guess what all of your wax is now gone after one week later when you wash it with bleach or dawn or something like that and now your boat is actually going the rest of the year with no wax on it. You actually only had wax on your boat for about a week. If you do everything in this video, you will get a solid six months out of your wax because I'm gonna teach you how to wash it. I'm gonna teach you how to properly maintain it. I'm also gonna teach you how to keep it protected month after month after month. If you get any value out of this, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell notification. So every time I make a video, it'll pop up. Now let's hop into it. I'm gonna talk right here on the mic and we're just gonna narrate everything in the background and I'm gonna teach you guys everything I know and I'm gonna explain everything in the video. Let's go. All right, guys, so we are going to start off with a bucket of soap and or pine wash and wax soap. This is a great soap because it just ensures that it's not going to rip off your wax and it also does not leave a ton of suds behind. I don't really like super soapy uh, boat soaps when I'm maintaining boats because if the soap dries on the metal and on the gel coat, it'll leave like this soap stain stuff uh, that you may have seen in my other videos and it just makes for more work because you have to clean it up. So I like this soap because it actually effectively removes like black marks and that kind of thing um, in some, you know, slight mold and mildew and that kind of thing without having to have a ton of like soapy suds. Anyway, I really like this product guys. Uh, Orpine's a great boat soap for big boats and small boats. Um, as you can see here guys, I do have a wash mitt on my hand and I'm not using a brush. And the only reason why no, most of my other videos I have a brush on, but in this particular aspect, when a boat is freshly detailed, brush can slightly scratch it a little bit. If you're going to buff it and wax it and polish it, it's not so much of a concern, but if you're not, it can leave like micro scratching. So I do recommend using like a hand uh, mitt but if all you have is a boat brush, that's it, it, it really won't make a huge difference. It's just a kind of a personal preference. Now with the hand mitt as well, you can get over the center console a lot better. You can get into tighter compartments and tighter areas better. You can also wrap your hand around the T-top and that kind of thing. So it just makes it overall easier for cleaning. So if you can't get a mitt, great. If not, brush will work fine. I do use the brush on the floors. All I am spraying on the floor here is purple power, a little bit of diluted purple power, and I brush it in. This is gonna remove any blood, any fish guts, uh, any stains on your flooring, and then just take a magic eraser and go over it really fast. Doesn't have to be anything super crazy because your floor should be somewhat clean because you're rinsing it off every time. So just take magic eraser and go ahead, spray it off, nothing too fancy, and then we're gonna move to our motors. We're gonna get our motors completely washed up as well. And guys, I am using a pressure washer in this, but I do, I mean, obviously don't break out the pressure washer once a month if you're maintaining your own boat. If you're a detailing company, you can, but uh, just using a water hose will work just as fine. You do not need to use a pressure washer in this case. That's why I did use a bucket and not my foam cannon like I normally use. So just use soapy water in a bucket and just a regular old um, water hose and you'll be fine. Now, as you can see on the side, this boat is on a work rack, so it makes it a little easier. If your boat's on a trailer, you can do the hull or the sides just as easy. Just soap it down, rinse it off, get it as best you can. 
Now we're gonna move on to step number two. This is McKee's Hydro Pearl. All right, I've talked about this product in all my other videos, and you can see in this product alone, this is going to help top off your wax. It's gonna be basically, let's think of it as a shield between the water and the elements in your wax, all right? It's a super simple process. All you do is you wet the surface, you spray it on. I like to do 10 foot sections at a time. So if your boat is over 10 feet, like this is a 26 foot boat, I'm gonna basically split it in half and then rinse it off. So you rinse the boat, get the boat wet, you spray spray this product on and you spray it off instantly and then you move on. I do like to do two coats and that's what I'm doing on the hull. Um, I just like to do two coats on the hull. The hull is what's actually getting hit with salt water and that kind of thing and it probably won't last as long as the top side so go ahead do two coats on the hull. Same as the motors here on the Callens just go ahead rinse it with water spray this product on just mist it on and then literally rinse it right off. It is literally that easy. Do two coats and then we're going to move to the other side. So one reason why I do like this product it is an SiO2 sealant so it does have ceramic properties in it. It'll make the water bead like crazy and it's also going to make your boat extremely easy to keep clean that's why i like it because not a lot of things stick to it so if you um spray this on the side of your boat it's going to help with fish blood fish guts and that kind of thing stop from sticking to your gel coat because once fish blood and fish guts actually stop or once they dry, it is a pain in the butt to get off. And I'm sure you guys know what I mean. This product is going to help be a shield in between your gel coat and your uh, your fish blood elements and that kind of thing. Now, this product is great on the top side as well. So we do it on the hull and we do it on the top side. It is okay if it gets on the seat cushions. So don't worry about like not getting it on the seat cushions. I have not had an issue with it yet on the seat cushions. So if a little bit of overspray or something like that gets on the seats, just go ahead and rinse it right off. It's no big deal. This is the most important process because if you get the cleaning aspect right and then you do this part. This right here is the process that is going to keep your boat protected for months and months and months. So you have to do this at least once a month, guys. Wash your boat and apply this product on your gel coat. It can go on the non-skid, it can go on the flooring, and it goes on all your metal. It goes on everything. Just spray it on everything. You don't necessarily have to spray it on your seat cushions, but if it gets on your seat cushions, that's okay. Spray this product on your boat, rinse it off, and dry the boat. That's it. It's super simple. It is crazy simple. And this is gonna make the water beads like crazy and it's just gonna keep your boat protected from the elements. As you can see here, I'm spraying it on the floor. You literally just spray it on the floor. And I've had a couple people reach out to me and say, hey man, does it make it super dangerous on the floors? I have not had a single issue. And honestly, it actually gives it kind of a textury feel. Uh, I don't understand it, but it actually kind of makes it more tacky so you grip a little bit better. So guys, it is very, very important that after you spray the McKees 37 on and you rinse it off to dry the boat, I like to use this absorber right here. You can find everything in this video is linked down below. So don't, you know, you can go down below and purchase everything. This honestly they they revamped their uh, their chamois and this one's actually specifically made for boats and it's it's crazy it's like magic literally the water just comes right off now it does help that the boat is freshly has the McKees 37 so it's going to bead really nice and it'll help just dry super easy but this product it goes over it super super easy all right guys so now all i have here is a product called bead maker it is also an sio2 coating and you can use it uh, wet or dry, but I typically like to do it dry on my steering wheel and my metal, my gauges, and my center console area, and just other little areas that you just wanna wipe. Now, the reason why I do this is because the McKees 37 can leave some like, uh, these kind of like watermark looking things. It, it's not really watermarks, but it's just where the, the coating maybe didn't spread completely on the metal. So if you use this product, it's called Bead Maker on the metal. It's just going to clean those all right up and you won't have any issues. But I like to use this kind of on my center console area, on my metal. And then I wipe down the powdered coated uh, T-top here. If you have a stainless steel T-top, do not use this product. You can, it won't hurt it, but you can also use Woody Wax. Woody Wax is an amazing product as well on a on stainless steel or uh, or metal but in this case it's powder coat so i'm just going to use the bead maker last on the list is just going to be 303 on the seats all right it's super simple we're going to use 303 on the seat cushions you spray it pretty liberally on your rag and you wipe it in and that's it you're done because you've already washed your boat you have already washed the seat cushions and now all you need to do is take this vinyl protectant just put it on the on the seat cushions and that's it all 303 is is a protectant for your cushion so it's going to act like a wax or a protectant for 
for your seat cushions. It's gonna protect against cracking, fading, drying out, and that sort of thing. So all you gotta do guys is apply this and that's it. Your boat is done and it is completely protected. Well guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got any value out of it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell notification. Also shoot me a comment down below if you have any questions and I will personally get back to you as soon as I possibly can. That's it for today's video and I look forward to seeing you on my next one.